hi. Um, I thought I'd read this letter I wrote to a 14-year-old atheist who uh, is a former Muslim, and uh, he's thinking of uh, breaking the news to his parents, who are Muslim. So I just felt compelled to uh, write him this letter to give him some pointers on how to respond to them in the hopes that it won't uh, result in his death. I said this, Instead of coming out to your family that you are an atheist and risk having your head sawed off or having your throat slit just uh, being that they are Muslim and might have Quran 1874 through 81 in mind, it's Quran uh, 1874 through 81, that opens the door to uh, honor killing. Why not just ask some questions like, uh, did you know that Sahib sound Muslim? Uh, 6665 and 6666 and 6668 say Jews and Christians will be the unwitting Jesus Christ's scapegoats who will have their sins, who, who, who will have the sins of really evil Muslims placed on them so they go, so, so they, the uh, really evil Muslims, go to uh, paradise while the Jews and Christians end up in hell. Uh, uh, for the really evil uh, Muslims, you know? Such a question will probably uh, get your... Such a question will probably get your parents um, to say there's no such thing as really evil Muslims. Uh, of which you can then ask, then why does it say in Muslim 665, 666, yeah, 666, oh, 6665, 6666, Six 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 eight, six 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 eight. Uh, that these Muslims will have sins as heavy as mountains. Do you think it's fair that they should? Uh, that I, I do you think it's fair that this should happen? And if it is fair, well, doesn't having sins placed on Jews and Christians contradict the Quran that says no bear of burdens? sins shall bear the burden of another uh, bear the sin of another this is contradicting contradicting sahih sound hadith with that they your your parents your muslim parents might suddenly start talking about how they really aren't Sunni Muslim who have to believe in the Hadith, but are the rap, are, are part of the rapidly growing in number Quranis, Quran-only Muslims, who now reject the Hadith, even if it's Sahih, like Sahih Muslim. Um, with that, you can say you you can then say. That's a good thing, because did you know that Muhammad says in the Hadith that we, as embryos, go through a 40-day blood clot stage? Uh, that is really stupid, yet I noticed that Surah 96 is called the clot. Have you, have you any guess as to why it's called the clot? You can also ask them, you can also ask them, has anyone ever found the muddy spring on earth that the Quran says the sun sets in? When your family tries to tell you uh, that that is only metaphoric, then you can fire back and say, then why does Muhammad say in Sahih sound hadith that the sun then asks and seeks or seeks permission to rise again? Shouldn't it be the earth constantly asking permission of Allah to keep on rotating and only making it appear that the sun is setting somewhere in a muddy spring? If your parents then start looking for a knife, to saw your he your atheist head off, um, you could ask them why should we go and ask those who have been reading the before the the before scriptures Bible, or any anything if only the Quran, if if only the Quran is not corrupted, how can Quran ten ninety four be true if the Bible is corrupted? Also, how can the Quran confirm the before scriptures Bible if only the Quran is not corrupted? If your parents start shouting Allahu, Allah is greater, Allahu Akbar, as they chase you around the house to stab you, you can then shout out, why is Quran 3643, uh, why, yeah, why in Quran, 40, Quran 364043, it is inferred that the sun and moon travel in boats similar to that of Noah. Doesn't 
that contradict what Muhammad says in Al-Tabari about the sun and moon traveling in a chariot? Uh, which causes an, an, a solar eclipse when the sun falls out of said chariot? If they catch you, if they catch you and start sawing on your neck, re reciting Quran 18, 74 through 81, uh, where an innocent youth is killed by Al-Kidar, uh, the traveling companion of Musa, Moses, uh, just because uh, Al-Kidar and the boy's parents feared that the boy would... Uh, grow up to disappoint parents or show ungratefulness toward Allah, as if those are good reasons to kill anybody, let alone an innocent youth, because Moses calls the, the kid an innocent youth. Um, you can cry out, why does the Quran say mountains are placed down instead of pushed up like geology shows? And why should I wash my nose out three times to get sleeping Satan out of it when farts of Satan don't stink every time Satan hears the call to prayer somewhere, any, so everywhere, somewhere in the in in the world, and and he doesn't inter, and it doesn't and it doesn't inter, and it, and he and he Satan doesn't interfere with my sense of smell or being able to breathe, for being for for for, for uh, being and sleeping in my nose at night. You tell them these facts from the Quran and Hadith. And maybe they will stop sawing on your neck and say, hey, that really does all sound stupid. Maybe, maybe the earth really isn't, quote, spread out on the back of a giant fish, like Mr. Papa says, after all. And when they start asking those kind of questions, they might join you in being an, in being an atheist. Or they might think of Quran 5, 68, that tells Christians and Jews that they have no ground to stand upon unless they stand firm upon the Torah and Injil. And in Quran 5, 47, to use the Injil, New Testament, to judge their end of the, quote, clear signs, Quran. And they might become Christians when they realize that Islam teaches that Jesus is sinless and can take on your sins since the Quran says, no bear burdens, sins shall bear the burden of another uh, another sins, um, yeah, bear the burden, sin of another, and Jesus is and was sinless, so he can and did take on your sins, and instead of sawing off your heads, your parents just uh, might pray for your soul that God, not Allah, uh, shows you the way to heaven. And that's my. Uh, letter to that 14 year old atheist who is thinking of uh, letting his Muslim parents know that he's no longer a Muslim but an atheist.